It's a beautiful night in the canyon, and a cold one. It actually snowed a little bit today. It melted rather rapidly, but that's the temperature level that we're at. But the skies are clearing, as you can see. And we are going to be going after a spectacular object. As long as that thing right up there <laughs> doesn't interfere. Can you see the moon? It's it's a full moon. So the moon is coming up from the east and where we are going to be filming is towards the west, southwest. And we're going to be going after an image tonight called the Rosette Nebula. Now if you've heard of it or seen it before, well tonight you're going to learn a few things you may not know about the Rosette Nebula. It's beautiful and it's fascinating. So I need to get hurrying and set up before it gets too dark. This is such a, a wonderful place to come. These canyon walls block the light from the city of St. George. And there's nothing, nothing west of us. We are going to be setting up right here on this picnic pad. And for those of you that have watched my astrophotography sessions before, you know, I usually build a little fire to stay warm. Tonight, I'll be huddled up in this baby. I'll tell you about that. And I got a little heater in there, a little cot, so I can keep from freezing. I can even make a little dinner. <laughs> so we're going to set ourselves up right here, and I need to get hustling. Well, we're all set up. We're polar aligned, we're star aligned, and we're on the target. I'm imaging tonight with the Orion 190 millimeter Maxitoff Newtonian. It's a spectacular astrograph on an Atlas EQG mount using the Orion G24 full format color CMOS camera. And I have so far captured 29 images, just five minutes, just five minutes of data. And look what we have. There we go. And it never looks great on a monitor and it looks kind of green right now. But I'm going to come back and tell you all about what this is. Let's get about 30 minutes of data or a little more on it. And I'm going to come back out and tell you all about what is really going on in this image that we're capturing. It's quite remarkable. But for now, I have to show you how I'm going to stay warm instead of freezing to death like I always usually do. I have built out a little camper. Let me turn the light on a little brighter here. You see my truck and I have this top on it now. You blow it up. <laughs> it's a it's inflatable. Well, this is a significant improvement over past nights. Instead of freezing outside, I am inside my cozy little inflatable topper. Got a little cup of hot chocolate going for myself right there. Got a little heater down there, if you can see that. And so I'm going to chill here for a little bit and then go back out and check on the image. I'm really, really happy with the way it's turning out so far. Okay, well, it's been a while and I had a cup of hot chocolate. Let's go check the rig and I will tell you all about the Rosette Nebula because it's pretty cool. what happens when you have a four inch lift kit on your truck. There's the full moon I was talking about and it is full and I see a few clouds off in the distance. I wonder if they're going to interfere with what we have going on. I think I have quite a bit of time on the object anyway. 
What we are looking at is known as the Rosette Nebula. It's an incredibly beautiful nebula. It lies 5,000 light years from Earth, and it's a massive nebula. The distance from edge to edge is 150 light years. 150 light years. That is an enormous nebula. It's also a star factory, and new stars are being given birth right here in the center. There's over a hundred new stars that have already been given birth in this nebula. And where you see these dark veins, that's where the space dust and matter is condensing, and that eventually will result in the birth of a new star. All of the different elements that make up a star are in these nebulae, from hydrogen, oxygen, helium, and so forth. And they each emit, when they're heated by neighboring stars, they emit the color uh, that, that is their, I guess you'd say their natural color. And this is a very hydrogen-rich nebulae, which is what emits the red. But you can also see some yellows, uh, the heliums, and there's oxygen in there. There's, there's a lot of, uh, well, there's many elements in there. This is one of my favorite nebulas to photograph just because it's it's so beautiful. And this is turning out to be so far I think the very best take I've ever had on it. I've at uh, 253 stacked frames. So let me just take a look here. So far 253 stacked frames. 50 minutes. 50 minutes on this. So we're going to let this just keep doing its thing. Well, we're in the truck right after that explanation of the Rosette Nebula and what we were imaging. Uh, the clouds moved in. <laughs> that was the end of that. 55 minutes of data. Got to put my seatbelt on here, which I'll do right now. Uh, but that's enough. We'll get home and I'll process this in the morning and I'll show it to you. I think you're going to be uh, impressed with it. I was really excited about the way it turned out. But I got to put my seatbelt on to get home. Good night.